is why I love dried flowers, because those are still looking so good. Right? Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, which means it is Thoughts May Vary recording day. Right now, our cadence is recording once, maybe twice a week, but in that one day, we try and bank as much as possible. It is subject to change because we do have some upcoming changes with the podcast, but the mornings that we need to record look a little bit different for me than the rest of the week. I like to be sitting in front of my computer by 9 a.m. to start chipping away at what I have to do for that day, but on recording days, I do like to have a little bit of a slower morning to just give myself time to maybe read a little bit of the creative app in the morning and make sure that I can be sort of present and like meditative almost in a way if that makes sense and then I also like to just go over the questions that we are gonna ask our guests and make sure that I'm nice and prepped I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I'm gonna set up my stomach is also killing me so pray for me <laughs> our first episode of the day now it's almost noon i'm starving i'm gonna make lunch so i can eat our next recording is at 1 30. i'm gonna make a salad with a really yummy miso carrot ginger what's it called dressing and some chicken i got the recipe for the dressing from baker and melissa on tiktok she has good shit this brag 24 24 24 herbs and spices is such good seasoning for chicken i'm obsessed with it it does all of the work for you truly and then i usually just add some more salt and pepper maybe a little lemon pepper oh yum okay this chicken is looking good not bad for just seasoning it right there on the pan this entire process took like 20 minutes to do it's also why i want to get a salad chopper and spinner and whatever because the chopping is what takes so long do a taste test together Mm, so good. Okay, I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna review my questions for our next guest. Oh my god. <laughs> my voice, by the way, I don't know if I've discussed this yet. I just got back from my best childhood friend's wedding in Panama this past weekend, which was so much fun and so special. Special? I can't speak. So special to celebrate. I cried like a fucking Weenie Hunt Jr. the entire time. I mean, when I tell you that every single one of my friends was like, not like tear, like, like ugly crying during the ceremony of this wedding. I gave a speech. I also cried during that. It was just a whole thing. Anyway, my voice is gone because I have been yelling. Um, but anyway, this lip treatment from Ula Henriksen. Is that how you say it? Ula, Ula? I never know. They sent me very kindly some PR, and this one specifically smells like Hubba Bubba sour gum. It smells so good, and the color is so pretty. It's this one, it's the Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment in Strawberry Sorbet. <laughs> I'm so tired. There is just something about sitting in front of a ring light for over an hour that melts my brain. I just finished my second recording of the day. It's 4 p.m. and I feel like something is not firing in my brain. This is why recording days, I don't schedule much other, is that even the way to say that? This is why on recording days, I don't schedule too many other meetings because I try and limit who the fuck I'm talking to because I have to be thoughtful in these recordings and put sentences together that make sense. Right now we're recording at home. Hopefully, spoiler alert, that's gonna be changing soon. And I just hope that that situation will improve Improve my mentals. We need to wrap the day early today because it's Valentine's Day and we have a 6 p.m. reservation. I'm just gonna tick a few things off of my list. I need to upload the footage from my camera because right now the way that we record, we record our podcast on something called Zencaster and that's what captures our audio. It also captures video, but the quality is not very good. So I use my Canon G7X that I used to vlog. I just use that also at the same time and then our editor, Sapar, sound and audio. Looking at my next two days though, I'm just looking at my Google, my Google Calendar. I'm a little frightened. Tomorrow is therapy. Tomorrow is therapy. 
Tomorrow is Thursday, which means it's therapy day. So that always interrupts my morning in a fun way. I need to write another article that I'm working on for Remezcla, which I'm really excited about. I need to interview the homeowner and the designer for the AD interview. And then I need to record the intro to the episode that we just finished recording. So tomorrow will be a big writing day because other than that, I'm also gonna be working on my newsletter, which I haven't like formally announced, but I guess this is me formally announcing that I'm launching a newsletter and that's happening. I talked about it on Instagram and my stories a little bit and I was like, if I were to launch a newsletter, hypothetically, 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 what would you guys want me to talk about? And I got a lot of really cool responses which were already kind of in line with what I was thinking I wanted to talk about in the first place. So that makes me fucking happy because I didn't want to have to completely brainstorm a new thing because I'm selfishly also just launching this newsletter as like a way of keeping myself accountable on, excuse me, my personal narrative essay better than a diary entry-esque format of writing that I really enjoy doing because I want to write a book one day of short essays and I need to force myself to have a better writing practice. So this newsletter is going to be that. Do you see how I just progressively got quieter because I'm like terrified about it? Okay, I'm going to write my boyfriend a Valentine's Day card, get in the shower, and then go to dinner. How cute is this? It's from Iron Curtain Press, Los Angeles, printed by hand in the United States. There you go. Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday. Last night was fun. It consisted of pizza, ice cream, and then some gas X. Right now, I'm about to head out the door. We have therapy. to jump on this 3 p.m. call for my interview for Architectural Digest. I'm interviewing the designer who also happens to be one of the homeowners and then the other homeowner will jump in halfway through the call. Hi. Okay. First of all, these people were the nicest people I've ever spoken to in my entire life. The vlog I think is going up next week, so I doubt that this article is gonna be live already, so I can't tell you who it is. They're so cute and so nice, and this like fun, young, creative couple, she's an interior designer, he's a musician, they're the nicest people ever. I just, I love getting to write home tours where the homeowners are like so injected into the space, and I think that's so fun. I always reference back to the home tour I did for Coleman Domingo's house because he decorated the whole thing by himself. And while these interviews are gonna be really different, it's fun when the homeowners are also the designers. I need to send a credit sheet. So every time after I write an article, I have to send what's called a credit sheet or a fact sheet to the designer with basically like listing out all of the fabrics and pieces of furniture and paint colors and all the things so that we have all the details. This though, I'm so happy about because it's much easier when AD doesn't commission a photographer because if we commission a photographer and we do a whole shoot for them, they can't see the images before they get published. And so that's really difficult because then I have to send like obscure screenshots of like corners of things so I can explain to the designer on this Excel sheet what it's gonna look like. Anyway, this particular shoot, they shot and then they gave the images to AD. So they've seen all of the images already, which means I can just put a screenshot of the whole image on an Excel sheet and then just have the designer list everything out. It just makes everybody's lives a lot easier. I have a Galentine's event tonight that I'm really excited about and we're gonna be decorating cakes and it's gonna be all about friendship. I am gonna give you a little sneak peek of what I'm working on. Meadow very kindly is helping me with this. And basically what it's for is I just wanna have like an Instagram post where I announce what's happening. This is what Meadow sent me. This is an old photo of mine, but I'm obsessed with this font choice. Like apparently this was a mission and a half to get this sorted and done. I really like this little section down here. I will put Gabriela Ulloa because my byline is not Gabby. I like having it as Gabriela, but I like this font play and I really like this red color. I'm gonna finish up work for the day and then I will talk to you either later or mañana. Palm Clinic, Dr. Zand has you to let <laughs> Grant, give up on me now. Like that is the single thing. <laughs> 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 but there's a guest position just 
being the research team. Everyone's raising a high bar that they set. I'm going to my to-do list. The conversation in a way that made me feel super comfortable. I start every single article the same way. I write down in a notebook what's the story for me it's a nice way to be able to map out what i want to talk about and have a sort of outline so i don't get lost in the story and i don't follow this outline verbatim and i don't get really attached to the outline because i obviously want the story to flow as naturally as possible and sometimes just things get moved around that way whenever i'm looking at the quotes that i've transcribed and pulled i usually can always immediately identify where I want to end. I really like ending articles on a quote or ending it on a quote and then like a thought right after it. That's usually the first thing I'm able to identify is how I want it to end because they usually say something that is just like a zinger that I'm like, that's how we're going to end the article. It's more difficult for me to figure out how I want to start it than how I want to end it. And I sometimes will work backwards in that way. Today's Friday and I really don't want to do anything tonight. I was at that wedding last weekend and this week I've been busy and I just haven't had a night to myself since last wednesday i'm kind of excited to not talk to anybody tonight and be home honestly i like really want to just have a pinterest night my friend just moved into a house and is asking me for design help which is like my favorite thing in the entire world so i think i'm just gonna go on pinterest and send her a ton of fucking ideas and try and source some things for her now i'm just distracting okay i'm gonna sit down i'm gonna write this fucking article that's the last thing i do i think i'm finally gonna wrap my day right now i'm so tired <laughs> whenever i sit for too long in my little makeshift office i get so tired because a i like lock in a lot more because it feels like a cubicle but b there's no windows in there and so it's just like disorienting disorient disorientating disorienting this is when i'm like english was my second language also definitely entering my luteal phase the mood rapid decline the patience also a rapid decline okay this is the point in the vlog where me being on camera becomes useless. It's always a little useless, but right now it's definitely useless because nothing's happening here other than angry thoughts. So I'm gonna end this on a good note.